It is the 25th of August, Saturday night here at ABA Stadium. Welcome to Peach Boxing Trading Punches. I am Benjamin Mott, and alongside me, the one, the only. How, what's your name? <coughs> B-Unit. B-Unit. B -unit. I keep on forgetting B-Unit. I'm, I'm 26. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So this is our, I guess... The penultimate, 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 the penultimate uh, professional b uh, belt. We just had our last so corporate fight just before, but now we've got Ruben Webster versus Robert Ramsey. This is the rematch. And tell us about the first fight, Benji. I believe it ended in a split decision, maybe, or a, a unanimous decision. But uh, Robert Ramsey won that fight. Robert Ramsey won the fight. Sorry, sorry. Let's say that again. Ruben Webster won, won the fight. Sorry, I just had a, one of those moments. A blonde moment. A blonde moment, even though I'm brunette. Here comes Robert Ramsey now. And we've got Fires Khan uh, officiating this fight. And this is what? Well, this is what? Well, Ruben Webster? This is uh, Robert, Ramsey. <laughs> Robert Ramsey coming into the ring now in the blue corner. I should not have seen him fight before. So, Robert Ramsey has only been knocked out once, and that was against uh, Andre Mikhailovich. Now, that was an interesting fight, because Andre said that uh, he felt that if it went the third round, he would be completely gassed, because he just really, like, pressured him that first two fights. So, if it wasn't for the fact that uh, Robert uh, retired in between rounds, uh, it probably would have been a different story. Tell me, is this a rematch or a grudge match? This is a rematch. No grudge between these gentlemen? No, just no grudge between these gentlemen. They're just coming here to fight. Loving the sport. Getting a payday. Who do you like in this fight? Ben? I'd probably say Ruben Webster. However, look at this stare down. Heads down, close to each other. It looks pretty intense. It does look pretty intense. Maybe it is a grudge match. Oh, he's a surgeon. <laughs> it's not often you see a surgeon boxing. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's just his name, Ruben the, the Surgeon. Well, he said he's the surgeon, so he might, he must be. Now, let's see how these professional boxers do our fourth professional fight of tonight. This is a fight. How many rounds is this fight? Four rounds, I believe. This is a fight I could see easily going the distance. Yes. It went the distance the last time. You said it was a split decision. I believe so. I need to double-check that because I did, I was, I did actually um, uh, judge that fight. This is one of those things that uh, you uh, judge so many you forget uh, who won what and whatnot. Oh, no, it, was, it was a unanimous decision. I apologise. Ruben Webster, the Southport, in the sparkly shorts. They're also a fine pair of trunks. Oh, I love the sparkly shorts. I, orig I think they originally wanted this to be a super welter, but this ended up both weighing at middleweight in the end. Really? It's certainly, they don't look like big middleweights, though, do they? No. Not compared to what we saw earlier in the evening. And Ruben is actually coming in as a softball. Yeah, it, it, both guys, it looks like a cagey start. But they're fighting like guys that know each other. Well, they have fought each other, so exactly. they probably do know each other. Maybe have a couple of beers afterwards. May even have a couple of beers afterwards. And just, like, just ended up back in the ring again. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice right hand from Ruben Webster. Putting in the pressure. He, d he wants to do what Andre did, his stable mate. Just completely punish him. And hopefully get the knockout win. When Mikhailovic uh, knocked out. Well, it wasn't a knockout. It was a retirement in between rounds. So a technical knockout, oh, I should right. say. Technical knockout. But certainly what we saw in that fight was he punished him early to the body. Yes. Now... So far, I haven't seen any, any of that from Ruben Webster. It looks like he's you know, obviously working off the jab, looking to throw straight left hand. 
Well, Ruben uh, is a very technical puncher. As we... Oh, well, that, that kind of stunned him a little bit, that over left uh, punch. And as we know, Ruben actually defeated Jeff Horn back in the amateur days, but um, no mean feat. Just hasn't done as well as Jeff Horn does in professional. Oh. Will Robert Ramsey be in trouble being pinned against the ropes here? While being backed out into the ropes? Ruben Webster looks the stronger fighter and the quicker fighter. I know it's very early on in the fight. But Robert has, like, a heck of a chin. I mean, both guys look pretty composed. He's been caught on the button a couple of times. But I just like the work of Ruben Webster at this point. He's and Ruben's, the, as you can see, is the aggressor. And Robert Ramsey is tying up with the, with the hands. Ruben Webster just looks to be stalking his man. Pops out the jab, not throwing the right, uh, the left hand in, uh, off behind it. Not taking too much risks, but it's definitely landing his punches. Uppercut misses there from Robert Ramsey. Robert Ramsey looks like he hasn't quite figured a, a way to, to, to work some openings against Webster. He looks to be trying to counter punch him. These guys know each other pretty well from their earlier fight. Their last fight was six rounds. This is a four rounder, I believe. Well, I'd say that's a Ruben Webster round. Definitely. He just looks like he's got more options, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. Well, he's got more tools in the box. So yeah, more tools in the box. And he can, just, he can use them at any time. But, of course, he wants to play a cautious game and not uh, get himself uh, locked out. Yeah, you could say it was just a patient start from him, wasn't it? It's, well, as we all know, boxing can be a chess game, and this is one of those games that's a chess Chess or chest? Both. A chesty chess game. Chess. It's, it's both. Playing chess on my chest. Ah, chess on the chest. What sort of advice would you give to Robert Ramsey if you were his corner? Well, I guess say to him, remember you've been able to beat, uh, you have been able to win a couple of rounds from him in the past. Do exactly the same as he did uh, and become more aggressor. Because yeah. as you can see, he's been the one that's been on the back foot. He needs yeah. to be the aggressor, take the step forward, and Robert, uh, Ruben would actually be the one that will be taking the step I back. I was just thinking that trying to, trying to counterpunch Ruben Webster, I don't think it's going to work tonight. I think if Robert Rams is going to win rounds in this fight, I think he's got to get on the front foot there, just like he's trying to do there, and come in behind the jab. Maybe even like just uh, start off as a ball and then control it from that point. See, look, when he gets pinned along the ropes just like that, Ruben Webster pretty much has his way. Ramsey tries to fire back, but all those punches missed. But not too bad uh, head movement coming from Robert Ramsey. He's able to slip some punches that Ruben is actually throwing. Yeah, there's nothing reckless about Robert Ramsey's attack. Uh, as I say, he, he comes in off that jab, which sets everything up for him. It's kind of almost similar to Thomas Russell, but instead of running around, he's actually just slipping the punches. Yeah, he is, and he's not overcommitting on his punches either, uh, Ruben Webster. Now, again, it's an R chess, uh, chess game, not chest, chess. Oh, and there we go, a counter punch. Nice little uppercut from Robert Ramsey. And well, but as much as he did a counter punch, he didn't step forward to actually no. go on from it. No, he created the opening with his uppercut and did nothing with it. Oh, there we go. He's, at, he's stepping forward now, but Ruben Webbs is not moving. So maybe uh, Robert needed to actually put more pressure. Maybe do well, a dirty a shoulder, shoulder barge in to actually get him to step back. Show him his own power. I think Robert Ramsey looks a little bit leery of walking onto that left hand of, uh, of Ruben Webster's as well. You see Ruben's got it there cocked. Well, Ruben, Ruben, I guess, has got the confidence. He knows he's going to win the fight. So Robert needs to take more risks than Ruben does. Robert has nothing to lose, and Ruben has a lot to lose. And you could see Ruben was a bit hesitant when he was actually going in here and ended up just uh, tying up. Yeah, both guys look like they're trying to create uh, some openings with their feints but as we alluded to uh, in between rounds it's, it's Robert uh, Robert 
Ruben Webster, should I say, that has more tools in the toolbox. Oh, there we go. Robert Ramsey has been showed off a flurry and actually landed a couple. Yeah, but he's not really got the power either to no. uh, to really put... I f- it feels almost that um, both boxers aren't completely committed to their punches. It does. It, it looks at times like a high-quality sparring match. Exactly. And, and, and it comes down to two guys that obviously know each other's style pr- pretty well. You know, I'd, I'd love to see this sort of thing happening in the gym, but not in the boxing room. That was actually a pretty even round. I mean, Robert, Robert Ramsey, I thought... Came back. He definitely came into it. Committed more than previously. He yeah, definitely came into it in the second half of the fight. Um, I think Ruben, Ruben Webster just needs to just to settle um, and just go back to the basics of what he was doing. He's got the quicker hands. He's throwing the straighter punches. He just Not, doesn't need to be silly. No, and uh, you know when he when he leans in and overcommits, that's when Robert Ramsey can hit him with a counter punch. But at the same time, he's not even committing um, enough to even be able to overcommit. Ruben here. Yeah. Notice that they're actually wearing Adidas gloves. It's not often you get to see that these days. No. I know that uh, generally people either use the NZ Boxer rival. Um, oh! Nice right overhand. Robert Ramsey is actually starting to do a good job in this third round. He's actually uh, being the person that's stepping forward. Yeah, he's starting to get onto that front foot. He's starting to eke onto that front foot, and he's having a little bit of success when he does. Maybe he's actually listening to us. We've got a little uh, <laughs> earpiece in, <laughs> in look, his ear. The right hand's still still not fully connecting with that right hand, but it's, you feel like it's getting closer to its target. Oh! Did you think that Ruben was almost in trouble there? He certainly felt that punch to the body. Maybe that's the money mark. Is the I think he was caught a little bit off balance with that shot as well, to be, to be fair to him. That is probably, that is true. But maybe that is the money mark. The, that right in the middle of the stomach. Uh, Webster goes back himself with a raking punch to the body. And there's a smile from Robert Ramsey. Maybe he can feel like nice. he's taking advantage of the situation. Nice hook to the body from Ruben Webster. And Robert's saying to go forward. Ruben definitely won the first round. It was quite an even round last round. Maybe Robert's going to win this round. And this changed the fight completely. There's not something that you expect from a Robert Ramsey fight, you, you would think. Again, a counter-punching. He's, he's, Ruben having, Ruben. he's having flurries, but I'm... It's hard to know what to make of this round. Neither man is neither man is landing really clean. Neither man looks willing to overcommit. Oh no! I think that was the, this is the best part of Ruben for this whole entire bout. He's going against the ropes. Will Robert be in trouble here? Ramsey looks pretty composed, but that flurry will certainly be eye eye catching to the judges, and it could be the kind of flurry that just nicks. Be- Ruben whips of this round. It'd be the decider of the round, in fact. I wonder if Robert can actually do his own little flurry against the ropes as well. But that's what uh, Ruben needs, but it's doesn't seem that Robert was actually affected by that flurry. I, I, he looked pretty composed, though, under fire. He sort of, it, but he certainly let Ruben whips to get off with too many punches. Just like now, he nods his head in appreciation, say, yep, caught me with that one. Comes up with a nice right hand of his his own. And final 10 seconds, let's see what happens here. And it's it for this round. Tenth and final round. In a very very close round, I think that flurry from Ruben Webster might have stolen the round. In which case, I think he's up in this fight. This could actually be a split decision fight. And I, I, to be honest, I don't know which way to call it at the moment. You might be right uh, that Ruben might have the advantage right now, but it's just, just one of those things. And with it's very diff- These are very hard rounds to score and judge. Neither guy is really dominant. Um, 
a lot of punches are just missing or just grazing the opponent. Um, both guys have spent time on the front foot in the fight. You feel like, it's a shame, you feel like the fight is just warming up. Maybe this would have been an eight round of fight. This would have get some more rounds for Ruben. Or even for Robert, if this is going to be his win. Ruben was trying to go back to the body and up top with Robert Ramsey. Oh. Ramsey fires back with a right hand. Connecting to Ruben. And then Ruben retaliating, being able to connect against Robert. And again, Roberts uh, landed quite nicely with a left uh, hook. Ramsey's trying to find a home for that uppercut. Um, and he's had a little bit of success with it in the last couple of rounds. You know, this is what you'd expect from maybe from the first round. They're kind of like still like almost feeling each other out, but they're not at the same time. Yeah, as I say, it's, you feel like the fight's just starting to warm up. And it's kind of ended. Or ending. Ruben Webster, I think, still has the effect of aggression. He's coming forward. But at the same time, Robert's not, like, making sure the, the punches that are... Oh! Yep. Nice, short little right hand from Robert like, Ramsey. Again, it's the counter, uh, the, uh, the counter punch style of Robert Ramsey that's landing quite nicely against Ruben. And it's quite effective as well. But it's up is it up from Ruben Webster. Is it effective enough to actually win the round? Dead I don't shot know. From Ruben Webster. Robert Ramsey answers an uppercut of his own. Webster pushes Maybe. him back into the corner. Maybe Robert's another little here. throw. He goes to the body. Another nice uppercut from Robert Ramsey. Ruben Webster digs to the body again. Ramsey, uh, yeah, Ramsey answering back with some nice short little hooks and uppercuts of his own. And a little bit of a head clash just then as well. The training with each other, which is nice. They're not going uh, too hard. Oh, Stunning body he shot. Heavy body shot. Uppercut just misses. Long right hand from Robert Ramsey. Robert Ramsey being backed up against the court, uh, ropes again. Digging body shot from Ruben Webster. Ruben Webster saying... Just Uppercut from Ramsey. <laughs> Uppercut from Webster. Uppercut from Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> Both men certainly having their moments in their spots in this round. It's quite... I, it's almost even, but uh, Ruben has the... I guess the aggression on his side. I think he's had a little bit more effective aggression. Uh, Robert Ramsey's counter punching is coming into the fight. I said earlier in the fight I felt he needed to get onto the front foot more, but he's proven me wrong a little bit. He's having some success counter punching. But Last 10 seconds of the round. It's hard to win rounds as a counter puncher. Very, very hard. Both throwing nice a lot. Body shots see who's from finishing the round. Ruben Webster. Great Another fight. close round. And gee, I wish that fight had another couple of rounds in it. I'd say about Ruben Webster, just e uh, just ease in front. I think Ruben Webster did ease in front, um, but it wasn't clear. You, it's it's so it's this is what's tough about four rounders is you just felt like Robert Ramsey was just starting to find his pace in this fight, and, and now it's ended. Now you never know what would have happened if it was an eight rounder, five, six, seven, eight. It could have got very interesting in rounds five, six, and seven. But on the other hand, Robert Ramsey knew this was a four-rounder fight, so he knew he probably had to start faster, wonder, and, he, and he didn't. I wonder if this was a short notice fight as well. You just never know. Could have been. Very oh. evenly matched. Either way, it's actually a good, uh, good fight for both, especially for Ruben, getting those rounds in. Let's see what the judges say. Ruben yep. Webster wins by unanimous decision. Unanimous decision to Ruben Webster, and I think, uh, again, another close but clear win. Exactly, it was a close but clear win. Could have actually gone either way, but it was a, quite, it was a clear win for Ruben.